We're talking Oracle. They got earnings in a couple of weeks. The stock's done really well so far this year. Got an upgrade today, Kev. Uh, and UBS came out and UBS, said, uh, yeah. yeah, GPU supply constraints could help Oracle. And remember, during uh, Oracle's last earnings event a couple months ago, Larry Ellison said they're spending billions on GPUs from NVIDIA, and then they also have that partnership with NVIDIA. This has been that uh, that sleeper AI cloud-based uh, rally that we've seen in the, uh, this stock. Yeah, they have a two-way relationship going yeah. right now with NVIDIA. Here's Larry Ellison's quote, just so you know. Our chips have the highest performance, lowest cost GPU cluster technology in the world. So he's staking his claim in the world of, and and what better high profile relationship can you have right now in the world than a, than a close two way relationship with NVIDIA? So <laughs> right. that's, and they killed on earnings a quarter ago. They Their earnings are 9-11. Are they come yeah. out with earnings, and so about two weeks away. But yeah, this is a company that's you know kind of gets forgotten in the in the sexy, high-profile world of 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 semiconductors. But they're they're becoming a major player, again. right? And uh, you know, lending to that, Randy, might be the fact that Oracle already has these established relationships with most of the four Fortune five five hundred companies, and also globally in that aspect also. So it's easy to integrate maybe some of their new AI technology and their cloud-based services that they do, right? Exactly, and you know, this again is a company that trades at a relatively low valuation compared to some of its competitors. Um, like you said, it, it's a big company that is extremely profitable, but oftentimes doesn't get as much media attention as some of these other big tech names. And you know, obviously AI is sort of the, the buzzword of the year and it's been driving pretty much a good chunk of this market since the beginning of this year. So certainly that's an important factor. So um, I, yeah, I mean, I think this is something that if you're looking for an opportunity there, there may be one out there, um, you know, if that if you believe that that is going to play out. Now keep in mind, NVIDIA has had some big moves, but it also sold off on the last earnings report and has been very, very volatile. So there could be a little, also could be a little bit treacherous out there.